Hi, YouTubers and WhatShavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, this morning I'm going to have a shave with a product I've talked about in the past, Pacific Shaving Company's Caffeinated Shaving Cream. Uh, that's right. It has caffeine in it. Caffeine is very beneficial for your skin. Well, on the back of their label, they say here, shaving is about to get a lot more fun. This outstanding shaving cream uses caffeine to give you an exceptional shave, help reduce the appearance of redness, and keep your skin looking and feeling healthy all day. So that's what caffeine does. Now, uh, I found some information online from uh, InStyle.com, and here's what they have to say about caffeine uh, in your shaving cream. Uh, so while you do get a little tiny caffeine kick, well, there you go. You don't have to have that cup of coffee in the morning. Just shave with uh, the caffeinated shaving cream. Uh, so while you do get a little tiny caffeine kick, the real work is what the caffeine does to constrict blood flow, which can help tighten up pores and reduce redness. Caffeinated shaving creams like Pacific Shaving Company's products are high in antioxidants and help promote healthy skin. So that's why we're gonna have a shave with it. I've shaved with it in the past. It really is very, very nice. And I'm also gonna finish up with their caffeinated aftershave. This is also a terrific, terrific product. They also make a natural shaving cream, and we will use this one down the road in another video. Let me clear the deck here a little bit. We'll get to the shave. Okay, so we're going to be having the shave with the Pacific Shaving Company's Caffeinated Shaving Cream. I'm going to be using uh, my Vikings Blade Chieftain Junior uh, safety razor. This is a nice, mild safety razor. So if you're having problem with uh, redness, give this shaving cream and give this razor a try. Also going to be using a uh, Treat Platinum razor blade. I'm going to uh, use an Osma alum block. And of course, I'm going to finish it off with the Pacific Shaving Company's caffeinated aftershave balm. I'm going to be using my budget apothecary mug and my Vikings Blade Dark Stallion Badger Brush, which is soaking right now, to kind of whip it all up. So let's wet the face and let's get going with the shave. Alrighty. Here's that apothecary mug. Uh, budget apothecary mug. I'm just going to dump that out. And I'm going to get some shaving cream. I'm going to get about that much. I always put a little more on my finger because it's kind of an optical illusion. You know, that's probably the equivalent of what I would take out of a tub. But uh, because because shaving cream comes out of a tube, when, when, when shaving cream comes out of a tube, um, you know, you really don't... It's kind of difficult to gauge from how much there is from coming out of a tub. So I always try to go a little more and that ends up being the equivalent of what I would pull out of a tub. So there it is right there, as you can see. And we're gonna whip this up. I got my dark stallion brush. I gave it a good ring, a nice squeeze to get that excess water out. But at the same time, I'm gonna probably add a little water as I go. And you can see already, oh, it's whipping up very nicely. And it has a really, really wonderful, natural spearmint scent to it. Really, really nice. I like that scent a lot, as does the aftershave balm. So we're going to add just a little water. I'm going to dip the tips of the brush in there and add a little more water. And the water on my face is going to help as well. But boy, I'm getting some nice... Yeah, let me hold it up here like this. I'm sorry. I'm getting some nice, nice lather here. Really, really nice. Look at that. I mean, already. Isn't that beautiful? Probably just a little more water to add. Just a little more. And then we'll be and then we'll be good to go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at look at those nice, nice peaks. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna just we're gonna apply this now. And the spearmint scent is not overpowering at all. It's really nice. Nice and fresh. And this shaving cream feels terrific. 
very smooth on the face. That's it, that's all we need right now. I'm gonna rinse my hands off a little bit like that. Okay, let's get my blade, and it loads fast because I'm using the Chieftain Junior. Twist to open, easy to load it, okay? So, there's my blade right there. And uh, there's my razor, opens right up. There's the blade, boom. Done, right? Beautiful balance and alignment. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. How quick and easy is that, huh? I'm gonna heat it up under some hot water here so it's not cold on the face. And I'm gonna swirl it in the sink a little bit. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice slickness, nice protection, feels great, beautiful scent. Really like this shaving cream a lot. Wow, and the, and the Chieftain Junior razor is such a nice, mild, smooth razor. Oh, the razor just glides. It just glides. It's beautiful. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Nice. Nice first pass. Very, very nice first pass. And of course, it's a mild razor, so you're taking the beard down in stages. But boy, that was a nice, comfortable, smooth, non-irritating first pass. And a lot of it has to do with this shaving cream. Really very, very nice. So I'm gonna put um, some more for my second pass here. And again, this mug, this is, a, this is an inexpensive plastic apothecary mug. It looks ceramic, but you know, it's plastic. So if you have young children in the house and uh, you don't wanna use something that, a ceramic apothecary mug that'll break and shatter on the floor or the counter, that sort of thing, you might want to look at getting this. I'll have a link below where you can get one. It's cost effective. It looks nice. Uh, and it's a little safer than some of the ceramic mugs if you have a, a busy household with young children. So, well, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And again, that spearmint scent is absolutely glorious. And it feels so nice on the skin. It just, I, I feel that it is giving me a lot of protection, but there's, there's a softness and a smoothness to it also. So I think the, the, the caffeine ingredient in here, it really is doing its job. I really do. It's, it just feels, it really does feel wonderful. It's probably one of the, a uh, few shaving creams that were where when I apply it, I actually start feeling the benefit right away. Really, I, I really do. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but I really do like it a lot. Um, all right, we're gonna go uh, east to west across the grain.
That's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Wow. <laughs> I'm done. The shave is done. Uh, I can go to the office if I want to, but you know what? This stuff feels so nice. I'm going to get a third pass here just to show you that I have enough cream here for a third pass. I have enough here for a third pass and a touch up if I want. Got more than enough in here. There you go, look at that. More than enough for three passes and some extra here for some touch up. Just a matter of just scraping it off the sides of the walls here of the mug. And I got more than here, let me show you. I got, see look how much I have left over from, so I, what I put in there is more than enough uh, to whip up into this lather. And it feels wonderful on the skin. All right, so we're gonna go uh, south to north against the grain. Nice, really nice, wow, nice. Love this razor, just a beautiful mild razor. All right, that's it. Third pass done. Let's rinse. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna do my two final rinses here, one warm and one cold. I'm gonna get that Allen block and see what kind of feedback I get. And then finish it off, hurry up. <laughs> and then hurry it up with the, um, and then finish it up with the um, aftershave balm, the Pacific Company, Pacific Shaving Company's uh, aftershave balm, caffeinated aftershave balm. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. Nice, that was nice. It took a little bit of time to get that excess slickness off because there was some nice slickness and nice protection there from the shaving cream. But boy, oh boy, talk about a non-irritating shave. That's really, really brilliant, beautiful. Okay, here's my cold water rinse. Oh, it's good and cold. One of my favorite steps of the wet shave, that cold water just seals everything up, wakes your skin up, it's great. Okay, cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow, my, my skin feels really, really fresh. Feels fresh, feels clean. Again, that spearmint does a really... The spearmint ingredient in there is just a really nice scent and uh, it's fresh and uh, I'm sure it's, it's also doing something uh, with the skin as well. Whatever it is, boy, they, they've got some really nice ingredients there that are just agreeable with my skin. All right, here's my Osmo block and we're going to go ahead and run that under some cold water here and see what kind of feedback we get. Smooth as ice. No stinging. Maybe a mild zing here and there. But nothing that says that I had an overly aggressive shave. Very, very nice, calm, smooth, mild, nick free, nick cut non-irritating shave, really, really nice. 
Okay, so dry out the Allen block like this. If you're using an Allen block, I recommend Osma. Osmas are great. Cut from a solid block and then machine down to this size. Just uh, pat it dry like that and uh, let it air dry. I put mine in a uh, little dish like this and set it back on the counter. Let it air dry and overnight it will be all ready for you for uh, the next morning shave. But get all the water off of it is what you want to do. All right, let me uh, do a little mop up here and let's... Uh, you know, do a little mop up here. I'm going to let that alum set up there. Again, some wet shavers will leave the alum on for 20 or 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Some wet shavers leave it on and go right to their aftershave balm or splash. Uh, me, I, for the most part, I leave it on. Sometimes I do rinse it off. But for this shave, I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to mop up a little bit and I'll be right back to finish the shave. Yeah, that badger brush cleaned up very, very nicely. Very nicely. Just give it a, a gentle squeeze, you know, just a gentle squeeze, shake it out, and, uh, you know, on the towel a little bit, and uh, it cleaned up nicely. And then you'll just, I'll just hang it up and uh, let it dry out. So, uh, with uh, everything mopped up and uh, cleaned up a little bit, we're going to use the aftershave balm here, which is really, really nice. And I'm gonna use about that much, believe it or not, because I am going upstairs as well, but we're gonna start with the face and then carry it up. Um, so here we go. You may wish to use a little less because, you know, if you, if you have hair, <laughs> you might wanna use a little less. But that much covers all the real estate here, so to speak. And I like to just to really kind of massage it in, really get it in there. I had a good hot shower right before the shave, so I'm good and clean, don't worry. Clean from head to toe. Oh man, that's... Really, really great shave. And this aftershave has that same nice, slight spearmint scent to it. Really nice, but boy, it really moisturizes. It really does uh, seal in a lot of the uh, skin's moisture and gives you a lot of uh, added protection. Uh, I like it a lot. It's uh, not as thin as some aftershave, as other aftershave balms. Uh, so it is a little thicker than, say, Nivea, if you've used Nivea. It's thicker than Parasso. Uh, you probably could use a little less than I used. But again, I kind of gave myself a little more so I could get upstairs here a little bit with, with the uh, moisturizing of it. Really nice. A nice feel. And it does uh, have a really nice, slight post-shave kick to it. Really nice, starting to, uh, I can feel it starting to enliven the, uh, the face right now. Really, really, really very nice. Uh, boy, great shave. I love this stuff a lot. Pacific Shaving Company's caffeinated shaving cream and caffeinated aftershave balm. Uh, both have a really pleasant, uh, subtle uh, spearmint scent to it, but you really feel it. They both are infused with caffeine, which is absolutely wonderful and beneficial for the skin. The other thing that's really nice is that these containers here are TSA, well, they're TSA compliant. Uh, you're not going to have this pulled out of your dab kit uh, if you're going to be uh, flying. You put this in your carry-on and you're flying to a destination. Uh, these will meet the TSA guidelines. And again, one, this shaving cream is so agreeable with my skin. It goes on silky smooth. It feels great. It gives me nice slickness and protection. Uh, I like it a lot. The Vikings Blade Chieftain Junior Razor really did its job. A nice mild razor. So again, if you have problem, if you're uh, if you have problem with redness, if you've just started with the uh, traditional wet shave, and you are getting a little redness from uh, your shave. Give this shaving cream a try. Give this aftershave balm a try. Also, 
um, give a mild razor like the Chiefs and Junior a try as well. So just uh, step down the aggression of the razor a little bit and get something that's a little friendlier uh, to uh, your face, which is the caffeinated shaving cream and the caffeinated aftershave balm from Pacific Shaving Company. So I want to mention to you, thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really, I, I just appreciate everyone who's viewing and sharing and subscribing and commenting. Really, thank you very much. So please continue to share. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Have you used products from the Pacific Shaving Company? Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.